It's in our nature to protect the ones we love, to stand up to any danger, to be strong and courageous, to always be prepared, to keep our family safe, to be the first line of defense. We are born to protect. All right, what's up and welcome to the channel. My name is Tech Shot. Thank you for joining us today. Today I bought the cheapest concealed carry gun and I'm gonna tell you if this gun sucks or not. This is a brand new series that I'm actually doing on a variety of cheaper, more budget option. I mean, super budget options. The cheapest ones I can find in said category, that's what we're gonna be testing out. And I'm gonna tell you if they suck, any issues that arise and what I actually think about them. So uh, a little bit different format than what we've done in the past. I will still give you specs. I'll give you pros and cons and things like that. But we're focused on uh, the Sky CPX2 today. And I'm going to tell you uh, everything I know about it. It's very interesting because I've heard nothing. I can't say that, but I've heard mainly good things about these guns. Um, prior to getting one of my own here. So if this is your first time stopping by, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit your notification bell, and join us for the weekly videos I am doing here. And also the near daily videos I'm doing on my brand new channel. A ton of y'all have already come over and supported me, but that will be the first link in the description to my brand new channel, doing music and actually streaming, hanging out with you guys, playing video games, stuff like that. So uh, something I'm super into, have been for a long time since I was a kid, and now I'm finally doing it and sharing that with y'all as well. We have a we have a pretty awesome time in our live streams over there. So make sure you come over and check me out over there. And also to our patrons, man, thank you for your support and your continued support for what you do for uh, for us and the channel. Subscribers, always stop by. People that always watch the channel, man, thank you guys for everything. All right, so let's open this up and take a look at it. This is the Sky CPX2. It's gonna come with two 10 round magazines. Both of them have the extended pinky extension on there. It also comes with flat base plates, lock, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Nothing too special there. And here is the gun. So basic specs here really quick. 3.1 inch barrel, five inches in overall height, six inches overall length, width is 1.26 inches, and weight is 15 ounces. So a pretty light carry gun. All right, if we compare it to something like the M&P Shield Plus, slide to slide there, you can see the sky is a little bit shorter. The shield is a little bit thinner. And then if we put them on their backs, both 10 round guns, by the way, the sky with a flat base plate would essentially maybe a little bit taller, but not too much of a difference there, okay? The big thing with the sky though, is the fact it's width. It's kind of a chunkier gun. I think a little bit about on par actually with like a Glock 26 as far as the width. All right. Some other features of the sky that I want to touch on here really quick. You can see I have like this two tone stainless upper. It's actually like a 7075 T6 uh, aluminum barrel. You have a stainless steel slide. Of course, you have a variety of different, um, uh, grip frame modules and colors and all kinds of stuff that you can go with. This one of course is the FDE. You got some lightning cuts back here in the rear. You have finger grooves in the front. You have a slide stop that you can work as a release. You actually have a decent set of sights, three dot sights right there, uh, front and rear. All right, all of them look to be the same size, pretty easy to pick up. And this is a double action only type of gun. So basically it has an internal hammer that you can see right there. And whenever it gets to a certain point, it's going to drop forward on the firing pin. Okay. So as far as trigger goes, it's not the best. Okay. It's no striker fired gun. Uh, that is for sure. So it definitely took me a mag or two to kind of get used to this. Um, and, and still, this is one of those guns. Like if you're going to carry this, you definitely want to make sure that you are efficient with that type of trigger because it is, it, it's got a lot of weight to it. All right. So you can see, quite a bit of take up, you get to about right here. The hammer is going to fall. Let's check the weight on it here really quick. Eight pounds, 11 ounces is what that's showing. 
eight pounds, six ounces. So right in the eight and a half to nine pound range as far as the trigger. Most of our striker fire guns that we're reviewing these days are anywhere, you know, four and a half to six and a half pounds, somewhere in there. So that trigger, it's, it's one of the dings on this gun for sure. Breaking the gun down, it's not too difficult. Lock the slide to the rear, lift up on this right here. Little takedown pin, let the slide come home. You have a dual captive recoil spring right in here, barrel, guide rails, all of that good stuff. All right, so stuff we've seen a hundred times or more as far as the breakdown. The breakdown's easy. So these things can be had for around the $200 mark, 200 to 250, even today with things still kind of being uh, higher priced. So definitely more on the budget side of things when it comes to that. So now what I wanna do, we've covered the basics of this thing. I wanna take you to the range. Let's, let me show you the issues that I had, how I did there. When we come back, we'll talk about those issues and uh, I'll tell you pros and cons. Hit the magazine release, I think. Hmm. Come here. Load it up again, we'll try it again. The mag keeps popping out. I'm gonna purposely try to make sure I keep my hand away from that magazine release. It keeps popping out on me, which is really weird. Let's try it. Show you where my hand's gonna be. Right here, so I'm gonna put all my support right there like you should. And I'm nowhere near the mag release. I'm nowhere near the mag release. like that. It's weird. That's very weird. Let me try to just do it one hand and make sure that I'm not doing something. That was a live round, it just would not go off. Another live round wouldn't go off. Trigger's dead. Another live round. 
So this is exactly what it was doing just now when it went and fired. You pull it back, you can see the hammer right there. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. And it just will not drop. The hammer will not drop. Oh yeah, look at the magazine release. Get out of the sun. Look at the magazine release. See how it just kind of pushes up and out? Wow. Holy shit. <clears throat> well, I've never had a gun do this. It's almost like the, uh, the spring that's supposed to keep it held in place is broken. Show the mag release, or the, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can see it's just, there's no tension on it whatsoever. So whatever spring holds that in place is, is out. Brand new gun. Wow. Okay. Well, so our sky test ends super early. As soon as I get in touch with Sky, see what they say, give them an opportunity, obviously, to respond to this issue, lifetime warranty and all that good stuff. We'll see what they say. There's some kind of spring in there that allows the hammer to fall and also something that keeps the retention in on the magazine release and it's gone or broken or something. Uh, so I'm not gonna take the time to do it here because I have other stuff I have to get to, but I will definitely let y'all know what happens after this process. So as you can see, I lasted about four or five mags before the gun just would not fire. Uh, very interesting. Basically what was going on is the hammer would get back to about this point right here, but I could not pull it back any further and get that hammer to fall forward on the firing pin. So where the issues really started at though is in the magazine release. And one cool feature of the sky, you'll see there's no tension on the magazine release. It's got a quick detach magazine release actually, which allows you to pull this thing all the way out. So the spring that actually holds this in place popped out at some point and that's why we were having the magazine issue. So I not only had the hammer issue, which is a huge issue, uh, but also this was the start of the issues right here. Not one, but two issues in the same trip. Uh, that's definitely gotta be a record for us, I think. Funny, I posted on my Instagram a picture of a 109 year old C96 Mauser that broke after 109 years. <laughs> and this lasted about 109 seconds into shooting. So, you know, it, it's, it's just one of those things, man, this, and this is why I say, man, if you, no matter what kind of carry gun, especially your carry gun, home defense gun, something that you would have to depend on, you got to take these things to the range. Don't take my word for it. Don't take any YouTuber. Don't take anybody's word for it. Not your daddy's word, not your mama's word, not your neighbor's word, not my word. <laughs> Get the gun to the range, make sure the thing's gonna fire because of stuff like this. If you would have asked me before I got one of these, hey man, is Sky a good brand for a budget gun? I'd be like, yeah, dude, from what I've heard, yeah. At this point, there's no way I would recommend this gun, okay? Now I did reach out to Sky and I did this before um, I actually made this video because I wanted to see what their response was like. It took them two days to get in touch with me. It's gonna be a two week turnaround to get the gun from me to them fixed and back to me. Not a big deal, I have you know backup obviously, but if I don't have backup, let's say I just bought this gun, this is my first gun, I really wanted to have a carry gun, something on me, something in the house that I could use to protect my family and now my brand new freaking Sky is being sent back to the factory to be fixed because why? Uh, so what? It's $200. They set the price point. I didn't. So me as a consumer thinking, I just saved up the money to buy something to save my life. And now it's ending up back at the factory. Crap. So at this point, I would never recommend the Sky CPX2. Once they fix it and I see what actually um, happens with that whole uh, situation, we go back out to the range, we fire it. Um, 
then then maybe my opinion will change. But at this point, my opinion can't change. And I kind of feel like uh, <laughs> on the other end of the P365 conversation, remember all the P365s, people were having issue after issue after issue. And I'm like, dude, I'm not having an issue, so I'm not going to talk bad about the gun. And I still haven't had an issue with it. Sometimes you just get the bad seed in the bunch. It, it is what it is. This gun could be totally awesome, but as far as right now, my opinion is not great of it, okay? So man-made objects fail. I get it. Uh, but again, it kind of shows to the craftsmanship when I have a 109-year-old gun that just broke, but yet this brand new pistol, it, 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 it was decommissioned after 109 seconds, about 109 seconds. So as far as the pros, man, let me, let me talk about that stuff. We've pretty much touched on all the cons here, but uh, pros, the pricing is good. Doesn't work right now, but the pricing is good. Um, I think the grip texturing and all of that, it's a little light compared to some of the other ones that we're starting to see now, but it does a pretty decent job. The grip, it's not too thin. So if you if you have like huge hands and, and you want a, a decent size carry gun, this might maybe would be a good option as far as the the sizing of it because it's not too small it's very glock 26 ish to me as far as the sizing goes uh the slide is easy to control all of that kind of stuff so it's a it's a pretty decent gun when it comes to that i'm not a fan of these finger grooves i mean these are even worse than the old generation glocks uh not a fan of that at all not a fan of the trigger the sights are pretty decent slide stop working the gun all that stuff is kind of decent but that's about where my positivity stops with this thing because again, it's not working and guns have to work. They have to work. They have to be super, super reliable. Every once in a while to have a malfunction is what it is. But as far as the Sky CPX2 and our first go around with the cheapest gun I could find, does it suck as of right now? Our first one, the Sky CPX2 does suck. So we're gonna see how the company responds make sure they get it back to us fixed. We'll shoot some more rounds through it. If it works, we'll do another video on it. If it doesn't work, we'll do another video on it. And I'll give you all part two here sometime in the near future. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. If you have a CPX2 that runs amazing, let me know down below. If you have one that's broken like mine, let me know down below. Love to hear from y'all. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, hold them down.